Hello, thank you for tuning into my channel. This is Rainbow Ridge Tarot. I am going to be pulling a reading for three groups today, and we're going to be focusing on healing from a crisis. If you are healing for, from a crisis or know of someone who is healing from a crisis or has had a recent um, change or upheaval in your life, this will be a reading for you. Um, I'm going to start shuffling the cards and then dispersing some of the cards into three piles or three groups. Feel free to skip ahead to um, the group choosing if you want to feel into it or if you already know what group you want or need, go ahead and go to that part of the video. Starting with the Wild Unknown Tarot. Just gently um, shuffling. There's a lot of um, gentle energy with this. So we're looking for messages of love and support if you are healing from a crisis, some sort of event or events that you're trying to find closure or ground, support, love. Okay, that's good. I'm going to cut the deck here, see what we have. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. So this does um, definitely point to some sort of wound um, being worked through or needing to be worked through. So we'll take it into the three piles. And I'm just going to pull four cards each here. This is for healing, transformative healing. I'm just taking a pause, taking a breath, and allowing the energies to be and to develop, to move as needed, and getting ready to hold and create safe space, good space here. I'm going to rearrange the cards and then I'm going to pull from the medicine woman to row this is calling in healing and transformation if you have been healing from a crisis or know of people or a person that's been healing or needs healing we are generating and creating healing energy creating safe space for healing here this is the Medicine Woman Tarot. I'm just doing a quick shuffle. And then I'll disperse the cards into the groups. I'm going to cut the deck here and see what we have. Moving slowly and just taking my time. And pulling intuitively, we'll go ahead and do a three card pull with the Medicine Woman Tarot. The bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Stones. So this is a person climbing a ladder to reach a goal. This is earth energy, the potential of earth energy. Moving slowly and working step by step to achieve a goal or a dream. Here's the Shadowscapes Tarot. We are shuffling the tarot decks and dispersing into three groups to get readings for um, healing, transformative healing. If you've been through a crisis or if you're working on healing, this reading is for you. If you know of people who are working through a crisis, this reading is for you. This will be relevant. Transformative healing, three different groups, three different readings. I'm going to cut the deck, 
Let me see what we have. <laughs> the Ten of Cups. Illumination, harmony, balance, love, grace. This is inviting good, compassionate energy into the reading here. Uplifting, grounding simultaneously. The truth of reality being felt, giving peace and harmony. We're going to do two cards each here. And then we're going to go ahead and use this other deck to call in, I'll say like higher guidance or higher help from the divine to support with these messages. This is called the apparition tarot. And I'll just be shuffling. We're doing a tarot reading in three different groups, three different readings for healing, transformative healing. If you've been through a crisis or if you know someone that's been through a crisis and you're healing from it, this will resonate with you. We're going to be receiving divine messages on maybe how to stay on track, how to stay focused, but mostly about healing in general. Just calling in good divine energy, divine creation. Please help and assist us with any type of healing that we need. Okay, that should be good. Receiving a lot of divine blessings, guidance, love, support. The bottom of the deck here is a Knight of Swords. So this is going to be the higher mind, intellectual energy, problem solving, resolving situations. We can see the planet Earth here behind some sort of grid and we're going to be asking for illumination um, on healing. We can also ask and call in for like global healing, global awakening, uplifting people of the world, things like that as well. I'll just do one card each here. Oh, from up above. Okay, so we have three groups. This is about transformative healing. Three different readings and three different groups. I'm going to go ahead and pick some crystals. We're going to use Lapidolite for the first group. Golden Healer Quartz. This is a Golden Quartz for the second group. And we'll do Aquamarine for the third group. Okay, these are group one, two, and three. I have three different readings, all with the same theme today of healing, transformative healing. Um, what can I do to heal? What do I need in order to move on? Where should I put my focus? Where can I put my focus? Calling in divine messages. So feel into it and see what resonates for you. And then you can make a choice. You can pick one, you can pick two, or you can pick three groups. Um, this is Lapidolite, Golden Quartz, and Aquamarine, if the crystals are what resonate with you and help you to choose. This will help you to tune into the message, um, and I hope it resonates for you. Let's go ahead and start with group number one. This is group number one. If you chose the deck one with the Lapidolite on it, then this reading is for you. This is about transformative healing. If you have been through a crisis and are uh, in the process of healing, this reading can help bring in divine energy and divine messages, insight and wisdom as to what's going on and what can be done um, to focus and to heal and to move forward. Let's go ahead and start um, with the unknown tarot. This is about transformative healing. We have the Magician, 
we have the Six of Wands, we have the Ace of Wands, and we have the Hanged Man. The Magician is about resources, it's about abilities, capabilities, it's also the beginning of something. Um, there is a vision, there is a specific forward um, outlook, but it looks like there's something holding us back here based on the momentum. Um, the Magician, the magic, if we're talking about healing, I will say that um, I believe each person, each one of us has an inner physician, an inner, an in, inner healer, a navigation system. And for me, it's um, soul oriented or soul related that each of us really does have the capability to heal ourselves as long as we get what we need, as long as we have the resources that we need and the nourishment that we need, that we can heal. So this is about um, a positive attitude being a resource and a focus on um, maybe a larger goal while still doing the work to heal. Um, then we have the Six of Wands. Sorry, the Six of Swords. Those are swords there. The Six of Swords. So this is air energy. Uh, we have a rainbow. We have what looks like rain on the swords. Right, right here we have um, what would be the resource, the mental energy, the swords. Um, it seems like this capacity is being suppressed or being overtaken by um, potential like storm or rainy weather um, that we might not have full access to our complete mental capability while we're healing through things um, and that it's good to create some sort of focus or some sort of thread to um, anchor the vision of prosperity optimism like things like i can get better i know i can heal myself um, being able to ask for help and recognizing when you need to ask for help is really important here. Then we have the Ace of Wands. We have um, the potential of fire energy, the beginning, the beginnings of the beginning of a new phase. Um, so it's saying that whatever is being healed will be able to lead to new motivation. And um, this will be new movement moving forward. And you might not know, I'm going to go ahead and move forward. The hanged man here will say you might not know exactly what's going on or what your overall vision will be or how this will help you. Um, but you need to hold faith and hold your vision and belief that you can heal and move forward from whatever's happened in the past. And that this will inspire new projects and new ventures for you. There's a specific purpose um, as long as that's where your focus is. And as long as you make it that way for yourself. This is a lot about tuning into the optimism and maybe just your pure instinctive will to get better or to overcome or to maybe bring more awareness or recognize areas that you can move forward, even if you're feeling stuck or feeling a little bit um, discombobulated or confused. Um, I would like to say like it's easy for me if I can create a routine that I can tune into um, without much effort. Like for me, it's art therapy or it's meditation. There are a lot of different ways to have some sort of hobby or skill or daily activity that's easy, that you like, and that can help you to focus on good positive energies. Even if this is like getting a coloring book um, or organizing all of the photos and the files on your desktop. There's um, a, lot of, a little bit of declutter energy here with the swords being here with the rain and the rainbow, and then, then we have the wands coming out. Um, decluttering can do you, do you really good. That does come up in readings quite a bit. I think it's always good to shift the energy and to call in good feng shui if that's possible. Maybe it's um, just about having like a vase of wildflowers there on your desk. Um, there are a lot of different ways to shift your focus and to kind of anchor positivity, even among negativity or hardship. And then the hanged man is really about patience and waiting, being patient with the healing process, essentially. Giving yourself time to recuperate and being okay with that. Um, and hopefully you have like a vision that you'd like to achieve it could be hindered a little bit by this process of healing, but it's good to remind yourself of what you like to do and what you would like to accomplish in the world.
don't forget to call in help. You can call in help even through like prayer to higher beings can help. Um, let, I'm gonna move on to the medicine woman to row with this. We have the two of arrows, the hierophant peacemaker, and three of pipes. This tells me it's not necessarily your fault what's happened. It's not necessarily something that you consciously chose or were aware of. It might've been something that happened to you or to someone around you. And it might've um, hindered your goal at first, but that there's potential for it to actually strengthen whatever it was you were moving toward in the beginning. Um, the peacemaker energy is about being able to teach people and to share the knowledge and wisdom with others so it's not just about you, it's also about other people in the world and creating a world of healing. There are a lot of people who need it. And so that is one of the big opportunities with healing yourself is to be able to help other people um, find that same inner physician within them. And honestly, just the resonance of showing up to life, sharing your experiences and being active will draw the people to you that you need to be able to teach and to be able to learn and to be able to heal support, help, drawing people to you and being open to other people helping. The three of pipes is to continue to look ahead, uh, find your resources, find your tools, listen. This is a lot about listening and providing time and space to listen to yourself, to listen to the process, maybe being aware of your thoughts. Over here with the staff, she has power in what, what is going on and she has power in what she's doing and she's taken that power and uh, it's like claiming your own authority of the situation and deciding your own fate, essentially, especially if there's something bigger that's come along um, that might have caused trauma or um, maybe needs a little bit of healing love here. Um, maintain the vision, maintain the vision and maintain the goal, maintain the mo momentum, and you will find that your body is resilient and that healing is possible. We're moving to the Shadowscapes Tarot. We have the Death card and the Hierophant. Yeah, there might've been something you were aiming toward that kind of got delayed because of this. There might've been some sort of momentum um, that seems like it was destroyed or had to be let go. Um, but we're focusing on the potential here for transformation and what can be built as a result. The Hierophant is a repeat of this card here. This is the Hierophant and this is the Hierophant. So again, focusing on what can be learned, the wisdom that can be gained from the experience, um, and remembering that this is a global effort. Whatever you're healing from, there's likely to be other people who are healing from similar things. And um, it's okay to feel all of the emotions here. It's necessary, in fact. It's gonna help you with the movement and moving things through. Please find time if you need to cry, find um, safe time and space for yourself to be able to do that. And, um, you know, there are support groups that you can reach out to. There are um, a lot of different ways to take care of yourself, like getting people on your team as far as if you need therapy or if you need um, guidance, maybe you can find, um, a physician or a physician's assistant who can help you. Maybe there's bereavement support groups or other things like that. Um, but calling in support and a supportive team, maybe it's just a personal trainer that'll help you in the gym or um, finding a tarot reader online who feels supportive. Um, there are a lot of different ways to find support. This is the apparition tarot. I'm gonna move the whole reading up. We'll do it uplift right there uplifting everything gaining good perspective we have a question card and it looks like what can you do with this experience make it your own take authority of it um, being in the space to ask questions um, and to be able to i guess have the motivation to make the decisions or choices needed based on what inspiration you receive. So trusting yourself and trusting your intuition. It's okay to have doubt, it's okay to have worry, and it's also okay to focus on positive and good energy. 
and just being aware of the emotions, being aware of oneself and finding balance and equilibrium here. Kind of, I see like the right and left side of the brain and finding balance between those cool aspects and those warm aspects of yourself. And maybe introspection is important here. Maybe the healing experience um, leads you to better introspection and to better understand yourself and your desires. Um, it could be that that's the redirection that you might have needed, or it might be that you just need to make it your own because that's what happened. Um, but the personal responsibility is to tune into yourself and to um, befriend yourself and to work yourself work with yourself through the process, but also to work with support from others. All right, thank you so much for tuning in, group number one. This was your reading about transformative healing. If you've had a crisis or know of people who've had a crisis, this is some information and some messages, messages that will help and that will provide inspiration for you. And if you're still tuned in, I would just like to say I hope everything goes well for you and I wish you the best with your process. Okay, moving to group number two. Okay, hello, this is group number two. This is the golden quartz, the healing quartz pile. Um, the cards that we drew with the question or with the um, foundation of transformative healing. How can I heal? How can I help other people heal if you've been through a crisis or ha and are healing? Or know of someone who's been in a crisis and is currently healing? This is to bring in divine energy and to invite inspiration into your life that can support and to help you feel um, basically hope, to help you feel hope in your situation. set the crystal to the side. I'm going to go ahead and start with the first deck that we pulled from. This is the unknown, the wild unknown tarot. We have the nine of wands here. Um, so it looks like obstacles um, to a goal. I see that maybe before there was a path, there was something that was clear and now something happened and maybe things feel unclear. Maybe it doesn't seem like it's doable or it doesn't seem like it's quite possible, or maybe um, there needs to be some challenges to be faced and resolved along the way, probably one step at a time here. The second card is the Nine of Pentacles. The feather energy comes in pretty strong. We're inviting right here, we're inviting like soft energy, um, healing energy. Um, this is like, taking collection of your assets. This is gathering and collecting. There is some darkness back here. This is finding potential in difficult situations. Um, this is strong resources. This is, could be maybe like a crisis that brought people together in a way that they wouldn't have normally gathered. Um, this could be causing a lot of different people to reflect or to change something in their lives. It's this is something big um, that's happened and it could just be even like the chaos of the world and very uh, general healing oneself from day-to-day -day living it doesn't necessarily mean a big event but it could there's definitely a lot of energy here and a lot of healing so with whatever's going on at the center where everyone's focused we see the feathers around them kind of like angelic energy um, helping to keep everything together helping to gather probably helping everyone with their own individual healing process. And then there's a collective healing process that occurs as well. Next card is the Daughter of Cups. So um, this is the beginning, toward the beginnings of this emotional process. It's like there are tools and resources here, but we're needing a lot of like care and softness and tuning into our emotions and learning about our emotional cycles and currents. Um, we probably need here like mother energy. If you know um, like of mother energy around you that you can maybe your own mother or 
Um, people who are caring, who are able to hold emotional space, who are good friends, great support in here. That's probably what the Daughter of Cups needs or has. Um, this is a very like tender, peaceful energy, um, but it's definitely, there's like grief going on. There's a grieving and there's just needing to be one with oneself and needing to take things a little bit slow, needing to call in for support. Then we have the Father of Pentacles. There we have more support. Um, so it's not only do you have the need for like the mother energy, the comforting energy, the friends who will help you maybe like cook food if you need to or help you with your tasks. This is now the Father of Pentacles. This is more of a protective energy. This is someone who's looking out and protecting. Um, it, is connected to the pentacles here so it's like the gathering of protective energy um it's reassessing one's boundaries and one's safety and security and um there is a need here to rest and to be able to relax there could be sleepless nights there could be anxiety there's a lot of um strong energy with this one here um, this can also be a focus on the good, even though things feel chaotic, or maybe like reassessing oneself after having shock, having been shocked or having feel, felt shocked by an experience. Um, this could be like collecting that energy and making good use of it. I'm going to go to the Medicine Woman Tarot, since we have such intense energy going on here. The Medicine Woman Tarot, card number one, the Two of Stones. We have um, a person near a river or a creek with a crystal that she's washing in the creek. Um, this could be like starting a new process. This could be um, cleansing, purifying, recharging. Um, this person is alone in this picture, so it could be finding solitude or um, kind of like forced solitude because of the situation. And finding the best of that is um, like using the resources to really collect yourself, to clear, to cleanse, and to heal. Um, this also goes back to here, like the path does need the work to clear the way. So if there are like emotional blockages, things that you might be fearful or worried about, just take time to, to take care of yourself. Um, seek things and activities that will give you renewal. Massage is a really good resource. Soaking in water, if that's one of your things, is a really good resource. Finding information online or videos like this online is a good resource for you. And um, asking for guidance from the higher beings will be really good here. They'll provide creative inspiration that will um, surprisingly help you in deep ways to heal. Um, they will, it's surprising and it's deep healing is essentially the message there. And just being open to that type of energy, being open to higher vibrations, being open to the angelic energy and focusing on your confidence. Um, the solar plexus comes in here, focusing on cleansing and clearing your diet if you need to, um, focusing on relaxation and breathing. Then we have the bounty here, the Empress. Things go on. So whatever happened or whatever's gone on, whatever's being healed, life continues to move on. So it, please enjoy the experiences that are around you, especially if you have little ones that you're nurturing, um, especially if you're working on projects that are being built around you. Please find time to enjoy that. Please figure out how you can enjoy that, even though there are maybe some emotions to overcome, maybe some things to heal and some things to learn. Maybe there's a community shock that's happened. Um, just there's a lot of hope here for taking care of yourself and being able to have the courage and strength to move on. It's not even always about enjoying it. Sometimes it is about just moving through what needs to get done. That probably is happening if there's some sort of trauma where you're just having to continue the activities. I hope that you find strength in that, and I hope that you can continue to build what it is that you're wanting to build. Then the Ten of Pipes. Creativity, art, um, illumination here. Let me just take a minute and tune in. 
Uh, we have like the sun energy, the daytime energy, and then we have the moon energy. This talks about continuing to move and continuing to do tasks. Um, this talks about redirecting your energy into creative skills and capabilities. This can be like beading, this can be weaving bracelets, this can be um, just doing things creatively that will move and transform the emotional energy. This can be artistic work. We have like music. There's a lot of ideas um, for therapeutic activities. Um, with the moon and the stars, we're going to be tuning into our cycles and our process, and we're going to be having some illumination on what's going on for us, some self-awareness. And it can be through creative activities or taking care of the younger ones that can give us the motivation to move forward and the motivation to continue to process whatever it is that's happened. And through that process, we'll be able to clear each step. Um, whatever this is, the end goal, your path in life, your life purpose, if it feels like it's impossible, just please go one step at a time and find activities that will help you to feel uplifted and to remember um, the younger ones, to remember people around you, to remember the other generations that we're all connected, but be in a safe space for yourself. Be in a space where you can be with your emotions and be with your process and where you can let yourself cry or let yourself feel angry if you need to. And um, there will be things that, that will be learned and lessons that will continue on to the generations because of uh, the healing that you do. This is the Shadowscapes Tarot. We have the first card that comes up is the Justice card. This is Finding Balance. There will be reward for hard work and for effort. Even if you feel like your heart's not in it sometimes because of what's going on, maybe you feel really like there's upset and upheaval, that there is reward. Just please hold hope that there is um, beauty to be found along the path and along the way. There's strength to be had and you will be rewarded for your patience and your efforts and your hard work and, and for healing yourself. It is its own reward and it provides wonderful, beautiful experiences. The act of healing, the cycle of the healing, and especially the transformative healing process. Two of Pentacles. Take it slow. Take it slow. Find your balance. Take account of what's going on. Be with yourself. Be not with yourself. Just be easy on yourself because there's a lot going on and you're having to balance a lot. Um, this is also redirecting energies. Um, it's taking responsibility and account of one's own energy and redirecting it into maybe a more harmonious flow. This is also playful energy. So if there's possibility, like it goes really well with this card as a playful or creative energy. Um, if you can, just find time to have fun and find time to laugh. Find time to, like laughing is positive energy and that's what it magnetizes or attracts. Um, having fun is like magic, essentially. So if you're able to maybe get together with family members or to focus on your children and to find joy and peace and happiness, maybe it's not there all the time, but please find little pockets or little memories that can help you um, to stay on track as far as healing yourself. And as far as maintaining the outlook that you can overcome and that you can um, support other people who need to be supported. This is the Apparition Tarot, the Three of Cups. Um, there's gathering here, there's beauty, there's like maybe a party or a celebration, but I think because of the topic, it's likely to be uh, maybe like a memorial or visiting grave sites or getting together to celebrate people who've passed. There's a lot of possibility here, but it's really gathering with um, like-minded people to um, memorialize or to celebrate or to um, let go of something. Um, it's looking at the potential possibilities, like actually seeing what's available as far as um, resources, but definitely as far as like emotional currents. It's also finding emotional support and up, getting uplifted from people around you. It doesn't have to be a big group. It can be one or two people, um, but you definitely need support with this. Support helps accelerate the healing process. 
And maybe if you need to, you can call in, say some prayers or call in um, support in ways that might be long lasting or that might start a new journey or a new path for you. Um, thank you for tuning in. This is group number two. There's a lot of um, like heavy energy and there's a lot of light energy coming in. And I think just finding balance and looking for harmony in this. Um, it's going to be difficult probably for other people to tell you what to do or how to deal with it. But I think that you can collect resources around you so that you're more empowered and so that you're a little bit more supported in what, what's going on for you. Um, thank you so much, group number two. I hope this helps and I hope that you find inspiration to continue through. Um, there is always something that can be learned from the experiences. However, sometimes you just need to power through and to focus on the good and to continue the process. Okay, group number three. This is group number three. If you chose the aquamarine pile, this is for you. We shuffled and drew cards for the theme or the topic of healing, transformative healing. So if you are on the process path or journey of healing, if you've been through a crisis and are healing from it, this reading is meant to resonate with you on a level of support, compassion, beauty, harmony, love, peace, um, bringing in divine higher energy to, to help and support you with whatever momentum that you need during a time of trial, challenge, um, crisis, and especially with anything that has to do with healing or the healing process. I'm gonna start with the wild unknown to row. Thank you for tuning in. I hope that this finds you well. I hope that everything is going good. This is kind of a heavier topic. And um, I don't know if I can give direct support um, as though I've gone through it, but I can call in energy um, of highest good to help to uplift and inspire and maybe to bring in wisdom about the situation or about how you can move through it, how you can heal. The first card is the Eight of Wands. So we see um, kind of like a rainbow lightning bolt here and we see a collection of paths or vehicles this could be a group of people and maybe something that's happened to one person also kind of happens to the others. Um, this could be that um, all of the options were set forth and that one of the options is either the most important or being excluded, um, like not an option anymore. If something's happened that has limited the options, what we see is that there are other paths, there are other options and possibilities. So maybe this is the loss um, or the shock of the loss of maybe a loved one or an opportunity, maybe a job. This is like, if we look at it like loss, then what happens is that there are still other opportunities that will come in to replace whatever is lost. But the, there's some sort of shock and something being brought to light, like maybe having to redirect your path because of something that's happened. Oh, we have the eight, the strength card, the major arcana. So we, since we have the eight and it's a minor arcana, this can be an event that might seem like it's a really big deal, um, but that it's not as big of a deal as, let's say, um, one's own path and purpose in life, or the overall overarching theme of why you're here on earth, why you're here in life, um, that it might redirect you and it might cause you to need to heal, but that the overall picture is that you have a fate or a destiny and that this can help you to get onto the right track for that fate and destiny. To find your own inner strength is also here too. Um, this can be people that are compassionate that come into your life who are very strong, who can help you to make decisions. This can be you having overcome the issue already and having a vision of maybe the future self that this becomes. 
um, maybe the strength that it provides, and maybe you'll find it to be a blessing later on. The third card here, oh, if you hear noises, my dog is here and um, he's chewing a bone. So there's a little bit of background noise for that. We have the Daughter of Swords as the third card in this reading. This is a peaceful energy. There's color if we see it. There's color that we can focus on, even if it's not the main picture. Or maybe there's grief going on, but we can still see almost like the silver lining or the possibilities within the situation. This is also a messenger, like maybe an event being a messenger to help see other possibilities. Um, it's definitely vision, insight, messages, intellectual energy. Um, this could be support coming in, just like we saw support in the strength card. This could be other support, maybe from coworkers or people who aren't necessarily as emotionally involved in your life. And um, yeah, definitely calling in and receiving messages of help and support, possibilities as well. The fourth card here, we have what is this? A seven of pentacles. The seven of pentacles in a standard tarot is um, waiting for the harvest, I believe. Waiting for the reward. Um, I see this card here as it looks like a book or like a treasure chest, like some, not a treasure chest, but one of those jewelry boxes that could be opened. Um, there's like a potential maybe being hidden based on having to heal from something that has caused grief or pain. Um, maybe waiting for the right time here, allowing yourself to heal before you make big decisions and keeping faith that there are good things waiting for you. Continuing to believe in the good in your life, even though there might have been something bad that's happened to you. Um, patience, waiting, and letting things come to fruition. This is also talking about maybe hidden abilities or gifts that you'll develop because of what's happened or because of how your path has changed. I'm gonna move now to the Medicine Woman Tarot. <clears throat> the Medicine Woman Tarot here. <laughs> we have the Magician, Resources, we have the Seven of Pipes, and we have the Grandmothers. Oh yeah, there's definitely a clear message of like, oh, I didn't realize that this experience would um, change my life in this way. You know, looking back on it, I have a better image. It's almost like I was blindfolded to where this would take me. Um, this is definitely hopeful energy. This is supported by the spiritual realms. The grandmothers are like the higher beings, the spiritual beings who will bless you while you're sleeping is essentially what it is that there is a purpose and there is a use to whatever's being learned and whatever's being redirected. You still need to go through the grieving process. You need to learn how to grieve. You need to learn how to heal yourself and just know that you're supported behind the scenes. You're supported um, within maybe like family or ancestry. You're supported in dreams and dreaming. And there is a bigger picture happening, even if it feels like you're stuck or if it feels like, um, if it feels dark, there is hope here, is essentially what it is. So um, this is being aware of one's resources. This is receiving a new perspective because of a traumatic event, having something happen that gives you new capabilities, new path, new resources, or new perspective. It might not have been what you asked for, but maybe if you really think about it and do an introspection, you can realize that your perspective is not the same, that you have learned things that you cannot unlearn and that you can actually put them into use. Also, there's other people going through things too. So find community, find support, um, know that there are other people struggling. And if we can take care of ourselves, it's like sending this vibration to the universe of being able to make it through, of healing, of strength and of support. Okay, this is the Shadowscapes Tarot. The first card is the Knight of Wands. Fire energy. Moving forward. Being alone. Being isolated. Continuing even... Maybe the writer doesn't want to continue and he's, he's doing it anyway. Maybe he's reflecting on his experiences after having achieved success. Maybe, you know, there's a lot of different possibilities. This is a lot of possibility, action, and movement. 
It's um, also saying don't focus too much on the past. You need to process it and it'll be there. You don't necessarily need to like focus on it every moment. You probably also need to not focus on it every moment and there might need to be support or resources that you can turn to or you can call in so that you're not having to focus on this all the time. Maybe you find a new activity that you enjoy that'll help you process what's going on, but make sure that you get to your future place. Make sure you get to the place where you've overcome this. Know that it is possible and that you can call in the support needed. Maybe there's a little bit of redirection here involved, but it looks like um, there's definitely a perspective shift because this, this here, we we're talking a lot about perspective shift and having a shift of perspective. And it's like in the way of looking back on the past experiences. And I believe that it can propel you forward in your life in general. The Knight of Cups supports that. It's just that this is um, water energy. This is the night and the night. This is wands and cups, fire and water. This is looking for balance. Maybe there is a, a tendency to focus or remember what's happened or remember the past. And that's fine. Just don't let it get in, in the way of the goal. There's a goal here. Um, use the momentum, use the emotional momentum. Like first you gotta overcome it and you gotta heal yourself. And then you can use the emotional momentum that you learn through the process to get you to your goal. And it might be a new goal in sight opens up for you because of this. Balance, harmony, fire and water. Um, you, yeah, definitely either a process having slowed down because of something that's happened or a process that's being reinvigorated, and it might be both here by something that's happened in the past. But definitely, like, we see some sort of magnetism to, toward the past experience, and we're calling in kind of like this help and future sight to maybe redirect or reorient um, our perspective. But whether or not we do this, it looks like it's going to happen um, because through the healing process, you're going to receive support and maybe what you don't know about the gifts or the opportunities will present themselves in the future. And then we'll have more of a momentum toward this, toward what is earned or gained through the experience and also like the new vision. The apparition tarot says Ace of Swords. There's some mental blockages, but it looks like it's being organized and categorized. So this is like have faith that everything's gonna work out even if it feels black and white even if it feels painful or confusing, um, this is not complete chaos. There is something being contained here. There's something being learned and we're calling in and inviting safe and healthy space to be able to process through the black and white or through the turmoil or through the chaos, to be able to call in and have more focus on the support, the lessons learned, the growth, the potential and the opportunity while still acknowledging what happened. Well, thank you for tuning in. That's group three about transformative healing and calling in divine messages and inspiration that will help you to um, heal or help you on your healing process. I hope this helped. I hope to see you in another video. Please uh, subscribe, follow, like, comment, share. Please support me in any way that you can. And I hope to see you in another video. I also send out a special message and vibration of love for you in your process. I know that healing is possible. I know that healing is possible. I know that I can heal myself and I know that you can heal yourself. It might look different than you expect. Um, be with yourself and get to know yourself and befriend yourself. And um, yeah, I hope everything goes well and I hope to see you again. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.